Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a recap of my most recent show, which was yesterday. That was the INBF Spring Mania. This is another installment in my natural bodybuilding prep series. And I'm going to be honest up front, this is not a video I really felt like making today. I've been struggling recently. I made a video, I had not a video rather, but a post on Instagram about this. So if you want more detail about what I'm going to be delving into in the next couple minutes, please go and read my Instagram post and my caption because those are a lot more thought out and articulate and I'm able to really get all of my thoughts out there in a clear manner. So my Instagram is at Ben A. Mitchell if you want to read those and basically fill in the gaps with any details that I'm bound to leave out here. But essentially, my prep had gone really well up until about the last week of dieting, three weeks out from my last show. That actual week went pretty well itself. What I decided to do, which looking back was perhaps not the wisest move, was to cut my calories where they had been from all of the prep by about 600 to 700 from like 22 to 2300 on average down to about 16 or 1700. My rationale was that I was going to be eating up into the shows for the last two weeks. So it would be an easy way to get a little bit of extra fat loss in before that process started. However, after I did that, my sleep tanked. And even when I was eating up, it was still kind of in the gutter. And my training was also not that great as a result of that. And then I also kind of overdid it on the actual eating up process itself. And I was a little bit misguided by the fact that my body weight actually dropped and was holding for several days, four or five days, I matched my prep low. And so I, um, you know, was adding a little bit of food every single day, and I was looking better looking fuller. But then there became this point where I think combined with the lack of sleep and maybe training not being as good as it could have been. Uh, I switched up a lot of things with my training as well. I left my old gym, joined a new gym, uh, started doing a bunch of different exercises. Again, I talk about this more in detail uh, on a post that I made, which was, I believe, with this photo, which is why I have it here where I kind of explain everything because I, so it wasn't something that I talked about publicly, but it was making it really tough. Even after my last show, when I saw the photos, I wasn't super thrilled with how I look and I knew that I had looked better a week or two prior. And that was something that and continues to be something that I really am struggling with. It's definitely played a role in my own self efficacy and my confidence towards my bodybuilding process. But I'm doing my best to continue on my model right now is just keep showing up, keep showing up, keep doing the things that you said you were going to do, even if it's hard right now. I'm about five or six pounds up from my prep low of like 149 point, I think 4.6. So I've been hovering around like 154, 155. I think I've seen as high as 156. And most of that weight has come on into my midsection, which is kind of strange. You hear about people putting on weight different than dieted off. And I've definitely found that for myself, like my legs in some places are still holding a like similar conditioning, but then it's a lot comes on and again, in like kind of my abs, which makes a lot of my shots look kind of weird. Um, and overall, just my body image right now has not been in a great place. Whereas for most of the prep or the entirety of the prep, it was great. Um, the prep itself, again, went really well. It was just kind of this end portion where I felt like I kind of messed things up, uh, which is unfortunate because for the spring shows, I was never supposed to be a hundred percent, but I find it hard to accept the fact that I was better. And now I'm stepping on stage, not at my best compared to where I was. And you know, what could have that been? Um, that being said, the competitor that I took second to uh, Max like a week or two ago, I wasn't beating him anyways. And the three gentlemen who placed above me this weekend, so I haven't even said my placing yet. I'll get to that in a second, but I placed fourth out of seven. The three gentlemen ahead of me had more muscle and they were also leaner. My symmetry was maybe a little bit better again, but I don't really don't think it would have changed my placing that much. It was just the fact that I was stepping out there on stage, not feeling my best, not feeling my sharpest or my most confident. And I made the most of it and I tried to peak the best that I could, but it's tough stepping out there knowing that you're not your best. And that was something that was really weighing on me mentally uh, this past week or so. And I felt like I was kind of living a lie because on Instagram, I just was posting like highlights and um, seeming like oh, I was so happy with the show and how I went. And I had a great time. It was a great like experience at my first show, but I wasn't actually ha that happy with how I looked. Uh, and I was trying to stay calm and kind of convince myself that, oh, no, you still look good and that sort of thing because stressing does before a show doesn't really help. But objectively, like looking back, I looked my best um, or I looked better a couple days after ending my diet and then things kind of started to go downhill. I don't know if I actually lost muscle. It's probably not significant amount, if any. 
But now that I've kind of been increasing my food, I'm not going to go back into a diet to try to like get a little bit, a couple extra pounds off for these next couple shows in the spring. It's not worth it. I'm basically just going to try to reverse slash do a recovery diet until about July 4th and then start dieting again for the fall shows. And so um, my plan is kind of to maintain my weight with where I'm at right now and just build my food up and maybe try to like shift some of that weight around. Um, some of that body fat, maybe get more of an even distribution, kind of like a recomp effect over the next seven or eight weeks as I increase my food, hopefully improve my training performance. I'm again going to be switching gyms once this membership runs out that I have. And then I'll be setting up my training program that I'm going to use for the fall prep for the shows. So I'll talk a little bit more about that in the coming weeks. So I'll probably shift more of the content here as opposed to like weekly updates with my physique. Um, more towards like training and maybe any kind of like nutrition things. Once I kind of get my, I guess, baseline diet established for the prep, I'll talk about that because it's going to be different than the diet that I was using um, for my spring prep, or I guess for um, the first half of the prep, which was uh, very like unique, I guess, in terms of my circumstance with work, the job that I was working at that time, uh, eating the protein cereal, like for pretty much every meal, I'm going to be doing something different for the fall shows. And I think that I'll, it'll be a good learning opportunity to show like, you know, this is the reason that I did it in this circumstance and I'm going to be doing something different in this circumstance. I'm definitely going to be relying a lot more on the deficit coming from nutrition than from steps because I'm not doing that again with like walking the crazy amount of steps and the weighted vest. Um, I'd rather just eat less, honestly. And I'm already feeling from eating more food. My sleep is in a lot better place. I'm sleeping seven to eight hours a night through the night. I'm not waking up tossing and turning. Uh, my hunger and food focus is down. Food focus is still a little eh, but hunger is, is pretty good. Uh, my energy levels are a lot better. My mood is a lot better. Well, other than, you know, everything that's been going on, just having more energy um, in general to give to those around me. A little bit more flexibility with food. So things on that front are okay. Um, again, these past two shows, felt a little bit mixed about how the the results, not the results from a placing standpoint, but from how I'm satisfied with how I'm looking. But I am going through with uh, my next show, which is in two weeks. That is the INBF Northeast Classic. My friend Jake is going to be competing there. So I want to, you know, I want to get out there, uh, hopefully with him, step on stage and get that experience of having uh, one of my good friends at a show and doing the show together. And I think more than anything, one thing I noticed that this past weekend was I was still making some kind of like errors with my posing. I was still having some shaky legs up there. I didn't look the most comfortable. Um, I didn't perform the best that I could have. So I think it'll be good experience to just like, again, kind of get those nerves out of the way. I might also try having a little bit less caffeine and trying a slightly different peaking strategy. Although, like I said, I think in the days leading up to my show, um, the peak did kind of like work the way it was supposed to. Although I have some ideas for how I want to maybe change things up for the next one. Um, I think that's all I want to talk about the current situation right now. Again, just trying to like make the most out of um, the situation and do my best every single day. Say what I would say to a client or a friend or anyone who's in a similar position um, to just, you know, keep doing the best that you can keep showing up. That's kind of just my motto right now. Um, This has been tough in terms of like my relationship with bodybuilding because I love bodybuilding, but right now it's not my favorite thing. And I'm trying to focus on, other aspects of my life while still obviously putting um, that effort in and keeping things regimented. Like I'm still getting my meals in. uh, I'm still doing my steps. I'm still doing my training. I'm still doing all the things that I need to do. It's just not as enjoyable as it, as it has been in the past. Um, But that's okay. That happens. We all go through phases of that. So I'm going to take a quick sip of my water and then I will uh, do a recap of the show. So for the peak week, um, this is what most of my meals look like the day before. Basically, it's just some like sticky white rice, a um, little bit of soy sauce and uh, salt, essentially, but everything bagel seasoning, um, more rice, rice based product, uh, banana, um, a little bit of like juice. So these are all like really easily digestible carb sources, a little bit of potassium from the banana and a good amount of salt. And then just to have a little bit of protein with each meal um, and some added fats, I have basically what is a combination of some um, beyond steak, which is like vegan steak product and some like vegan mock cheese, um, sort of thing. So this was most of my meals, low food volume, um, low, like GI residue. And then on show day itself, I was basically doing the same thing that I did for the last show. Um, same idea, like just a little bit of food in the morning, but not really eating too much. Um, mostly just like 
a little bit of coffee, a little bit of caffeine from my pre-workout and energy gel before um, getting on stage. And then the first meal in the morning was like in um, an oat bar, which had like a good amount of carbohydrates and a little bit of peanut butter and some pretzels, but it wasn't anything uh, massive. I think for the next show, I noticed that Sunday morning, I did look pretty good. And I had had like a decent amount of food um, after my show and then a little bit in the evening and then pretty much like not much in the middle towards the end of the day. And I looked pretty good this morning, um, arguably a little bit even sharper. So I think what I might try for my next show is like a high day on Thursday, maybe like a moderate to lower day tapering off at the end on Friday and then trying to to see how I look on Saturday as like a different peaking strategy, which is something that I could actually um, experiment with for these next two shows. So I was supposed to do another show, I'll talk about this now, on June 8th, but it got moved to the 29th. So because I'm still not changing my strategy, like I'm still eating up, I'm not gonna diet um, until I need to diet for the fall shows. I could just step on stage and again, like focus on getting that experience, enjoying the show itself. And I won't look out of place, certainly not. Um, and it'll be another good opportunity to get my feet wet. So I will plan to do that June 29th show. It doesn't really change anything. It's just you know another uh, another show. So I might try that as a, another peaking strategy for that, depending on, on how this one goes. Fumbling over my words today. Um, this was just getting a coffee the morning of the show. You can see I have my tan on my face. Well, I don't know if you can see, because it's like maybe the same as it is now. Um, and then fourth place, that's me with my medal. So I think that's all the sh photos that I have here. Um, now I'm going to share some photos that my friend Jack took, who was at the show. Uh, so this is me between, this is the gentleman who got second on the right and the gentleman who got third on the left. This is me between the two of them being compared. So this is kind of like one of the front symmetry shots. Um, one of the side shots again, you can see I'm just not super sure. I know maybe not everyone here can see, but I'm not super sharp here. I was sharper in my chest and my arms pretty much just everywhere. Um, I've just lost a little bit of conditioning. Um, this is a video of my posing routine. So why not? I'll play that. Um, get a little view there of it. I'm still leaning a little bit too far back on some of my back shots. I did correct that. I think on like my um, rear relaxed and my rear lat spread. I think those were good. Um, I feel like the posing routine went a lot better this week as well. I still need to like get my quads a little bit more um, externally rotated here. Um, and a little bit more just like stay on my quads. It was better executed. You can see I, I did the wrong hand on the side serratus. Um, and my quad didn't pop out as much as it uh, could have. But again, I think maybe some of that's just having lost conditioning. Um, another front relax shot, arguably a little bit better. You can see a little bit more detail through my quads. So I'm not, it's not drastic by any means, but I, I can notice it, especially in the midsection. It's just not as sharp. You can't see, you can see when those guys are um, in the front relaxed, you can still see the outline of their abs, whereas mine is kind of blurred. And that's something that I've lost. So um, that's a little bit tough for me to accept. I'm like wondering what if, where could I have been? Um, another side shot, you can see I still got a little bit of glute striations there. Um, I do kind of want to focus on externally rotating a little bit as I think it gives me a little bit more glute um, and quad. Um, I think my posing on my rear relax was a lot better this this week. Um, and you can see I have pretty good detail still through the uh, hamstrings and glutes as well. Um, this is just during the pose down. Again, another video that my friend Jack took. You can see my quads shaking if you look really closely. Um, something I need to work on endurance wise. This is probably my strongest shot. So obviously I hit it during the, the pose down, which is the uh, rear lat spread. And you can see some still have some striations there, like in my glutes. Um, yeah. Most muscular. This guy was freaking shredded. He won. Um, there were seven competitors in both this class and actually the men's physique class. And they were both really competitive. Just missed out on the pro card. You need eight competitors minimum in a class for it to be pro card eligible, which is, uh, which is tough because there were really good competitors in both. And in my opinion, deserving of pro cards, it's tough that they can't just like make an exception and give, give out the pro card. And it's like, if one of us had crossed over into men's physique and if one of them had crossed over into bodybuilding, then they both would have been pro card eligible. So, um, it's just the way that it rolls sometimes. And I'm guessing that a lot of people who competed this weekend will probably be competing next weekend as well. So I would anticipate next weekend will almost certainly be a pro qualifier. It's a super pro qualifier actually. So technically if they have multiple different weight classes for us, they just combined us all into one because there are only seven of us, but let's say that they were like 
20 competitors and just eight of them happen to be in the lightweights, then the lightweight winner would be automatically pro card winner uh, and then go into the overall. And then if somebody else won the pro card, then um, they would still uh, get their pro status. Let's see, is that it? That's it. So um, that's all I'm going to share for this week. I don't have too much more. I think I've said all that I want to say. Again, if you want more context, more detail, more photos, go over to my Instagram and check that out. If you have any questions, things you want me to address, um, let me know. And I can definitely talk about that here on the vlogs. My plan is still to just do kind of weekly updates with how I'm feeling. This week will probably be maybe a little bit more training focused. I might throw some training clips. It's been a little while since I did that. So um, perhaps I'll do that. I'd have to remember to either film them sideways or I'll just like bring up Instagram posts since I post um, every day on Instagram when I am doing my training. Switching to kind of like a modified push pull legs with a little bit of added frequency for my arms since that's something that I want to uh, bring up. And on my pull day, I'll be doing like a hip hinge. Um, I think that's uh, I think that's about it. So I'm going to sign off here. Thank you guys for tuning into another video. I know. I hope I wasn't sounding like too much of a downer. I'm still, you know, guys, I'm fine. This is, it's bodybuilding. It's a sport. It's a privilege to even be able to um, compete both like financially having the privilege because the, sh the shows are not cheap, um, but also just a privilege to be in the position that, you know, I can voluntarily choose to starve myself and to eat less food so that I can step on the stage here. Um, and I'm, you know, not necessarily complaining per se, but I'm worrying about things that are really not a big deal in the grand scheme of things. Like I have a roof over my head. Um, I have a loving family, friends who support me. Um, I have a great job that I'm thankful to have just started. So there's a lot to be grateful for. And I'm trying to focus on all of that instead of the things that maybe I don't love right now. Um, that's okay. We all have these periods of life. So um, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you could like, comment, subscribe, and share, that would be much appreciated. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.